the last thing I want to talk to you about today is sort of, uh, I don't know, the lighter side of propaganda or propaganda that actually has news I can use, news that I, <laughs> I didn't know about uh, until this week. And that is, of course, the existence of an elite unit within the IDF that exists to, how shall I put this, sperm jack dead people. <laughs> The IDF sperm retrieval unit is is something I learned about this week. Um, I, I I don't I don't even know what to say on this, but like this is this was one of the more bizarre pieces of propaganda. Like I think Felix, you commented on the video they put out on it. She hugs Shia tightly and knows she must fulfill Yahav's dream to create more life. So Shia puts out a call for the unthinkable to retrieve his seed and be able to continue growing their family. And like. Yeah. Somebody storyboarded this animation. Like this went through several <laughs> yeah. layers of decision making yeah, processes. That, that that was my first thought. Was like, okay, anytime that like a big company or institution, or in this case, a country, produces and then posts, um, you know, some in-house made advertising, it's got to go through like at least like twenty people. Uh, twenty people they got the treatment for it. They were like, okay, so um, we're going to do a sort of 2014 webcomic style thing about the special military units we have of guys who um, put cattle prods up the assholes of dead soldiers <laughs> and, and sperm jack them so we can outbreed the Arabs. Um, that sounds great. Um no one at any point thought this looks insane to everyone. Uh, I just like if you're going to if you need to tell a story about the sperm jacking unit, like why would it be about one of the times that they failed? That's the other yeah. thing is like they 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 tried to sperm jack this dead guy uh, because his wife was like, please help me. please, You know, one kid yeah. isn't enough when my husband's dead. Please jack his sperm. And they like fucked it up apparently. And then right after in the video, right after they are like, unfortunately they couldn't jack his sperm. <laughs> they do, uh, you know, bring our hostages back home thing, yeah. which is all those I thought, photos of all those kids. And, that was oh, the God, most insane yeah. thing to me because it's like, wait, like are these two things connected? Like, are you saying yeah. that we have to get them back home or else their sperm will go bad? It is so grim, man. I, I, they're, they're insane. I don't know. You know, you, you look at that. I, I mean, the poor guy who died couldn't even have dignity in death. It's like now he's known as the corpse that couldn't come. <laughs> like it's just <laughs> brutal. Uh, Thanks a lot. You know, it's like you know, it's a question like you know, like the whole thing with the guillotine. Like, how long does your head stay alive? Like, yeah. can you look at your body? Well, apparently for your dick, it's like about three hours. You got about about three hours left to nut. It's amazing after you die, yeah. and they got the sperm retrieval unit on it. But I mean, I don't know. I guess there's something like in highlighting that story, there's something additionally ghoulish, especially in light of all of the children and indeed babies that are being killed in Gaza right now, like dying in incubators because there's no oxygen. They're like, yeah. oh, it's not enough that we just we have to kill all of these uh, infants, but we need to like, uh, like, you know, milk the fucking prostate of our dead soldiers who are doing it so that we can have more babies. Yeah, it is like it is. It's a very efficient encapsulation of modern day Israel because it's mm -hmm. you know you have birth rate stuff, uh, body horror, uh, <laughs> um, a, a, mil a military that just has like way more resources than they even need or <laughs> seem to know what to do with. I don't know if you guys have noticed like the severe rank inflation problem that the IDF has. Everyone's um, a colonel. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are yeah. like no privates yes. in the IDF. Is something I've noticed. Yeah. Everyone's a lieutenant colonel or a major yeah. or a master sergeant. Uh, my friend Charlie, he figured out the IDF is one quarter the size of the entire U.S. military, but only has a thousand fewer officers. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. And, 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 and that's too like, many chefs. That's, that explains <laughs> too a many lot. cooks. It, wow. it really does, right? And yeah. like, you got to figure the sperm jacking unit guys. Like, <laughs> do you get promoted based on how many successful like 
cattle proddings you do? Like, can you become, it seems like you could become a general doing anything. So could you become like a brigadier general through that unit alone? Oh yeah. Yeah. Four, a four star, you know, corpse um, jacker. Or I mean, it, like, really, it, it really, it really, really puts a new spin on uh, never leave a man behind. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder, you know, I wonder how much like they're thinking because they're so twisted. It, they're they're thinking like, okay, well, we got a problem because they're showing a bunch of babies that we killed, and so we need something even more heart rendering. How about sperm? You know, sperm in a corpse's balls. Like you know, we, you think <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. babies? It's like, we I, have sperm yeah, like, stuck you know, in a corpse's like, balls. Uh, the, now top that, Palestine. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah these, it's even these younger pal- than any baby they have. <laughs> yeah, it's like these Palestinian animals won't even. <laughs> these animals won't even let a guy nut before they kill him, so he can like shoot into a Ziploc bag and send it home. It's <laughs> it's it's so gruesome, man. 